If the transformation g of theta minus 3 equals f of 2 theta is applied to the graph of f of theta equals sine theta, find the new range. We'll begin by drawing the graph of y equals sine theta to use as a reference. We write the transformation as g of theta equals f of 2 theta plus 3. The b value is 2, so there is a horizontal stretch by a factor of 1 half. There is also a vertical displacement 3 units up. The new range is between 2 and 4 inclusive. Remember that the bracket notation 2, 4 means the same thing as 2 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 4. In part b, find the range of f of theta equals k sine theta minus pi over 4 minus 3. We'll begin by drawing the graph of y equals sine theta to use as a reference. The amplitude of the transformed graph is k. We don't have a numerical value for the amplitude, so it could be anything. For the purposes of illustration, we'll assign a numerical value of 2.5 for k. There is a vertical displacement of 3 units down. There is a phase shift pi over 4 units right. Note that the phase shift has no impact on the range of the graph. The minimum value of the graph occurs at negative 3 minus k. The maximum value of the graph occurs at negative 3 plus k. The range is negative 3 minus k is less than or equal to y which is less than or equal to negative 3 plus k. Now we'll move on to part c. If the range of y equals 3 cos theta plus d is between negative 4 and k, determine the values of d and k. We'll begin by drawing the graph of y equals cos theta to use as a reference. The amplitude of the graph is 3 units. The minimum value of the graph is negative 4, so move the graph down until the lowest point is negative 4. The graph needs to be moved down 1 unit to have a minimum value at negative 4. The vertical displacement is 1 unit down, so d equals negative 1. The maximum value is 2, so this is the value of k. The equation is y equals 3 cos theta minus 1, and the range is between negative 4 and 2. So the final answer is d equals negative 1, and k equals 2. In part d, state the range of f of theta minus 2 equals m sine 2 theta plus n. We'll begin by drawing the graph of y equals sine theta to use as a reference. The amplitude of the graph is m units. For the purposes of illustration, we'll assume m equals 1.5. 
there is a horizontal stretch by a factor of one half. Note that the range is unaffected by the horizontal stretch. The vertical displacement of the graph is n units, so the minimum becomes negative m plus n, and the maximum becomes m plus n. For the purposes of illustration, we'll assume n equals 1. We write the transformation as f of theta equals m sine 2 theta plus n plus 2. There is an additional vertical displacement two units up. When the graph is moved two units up, all points on the graph must have two added to them. The minimum becomes negative m plus n plus 2, and the maximum becomes m plus n plus 2. The range of the graph is negative m plus n plus 2 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to m plus n plus 2. Now we'll move on to part e. The graphs of f of theta and g of theta intersect at the points pi over 8 root 2 over 2 and 5 pi over 8 negative root 2 over 2. If the amplitude of each graph is quadrupled, determine the new points of intersection. Let's draw some graphs to visualize the information from the question. Quadruple the amplitude of the graph by multiplying all of the y values by 4. Root 2 over 2 times 4 equals 2 root 2. Negative root 2 over 2 times 4 equals negative 2 root 2. These are the y-coordinates of the transformed points.